Hello, everyone. Today's session is about chat GPT, something which has taken the world by storm in a few months. I'm sure most of you have heard about this because your students must be using it before you have actually used it. And uh, this is, I think, one of the most powerful tools that has come in to the hands of an educator or a teacher to make his or her lessons more innovative and interesting. So for the benefit of those who don't know, and for the benefit of those who know a little bit, this session is basically to enhance your knowledge and how to use chat GPT to increase your output. You can become a better teacher definitely with these ideas that I'm going to share today. So chat GPT, for those who do not know, is basically an open AI. Open AI is basically artificial intelligence. It stands for generative pre-trained transformer. So chat GPT, GPT stands for generative pre-trained transformation, transform. So this is a very powerful tool for educators and students. And if you explore it, the more you explore, actually it's a box with unlimited potential. So you can create assignments, you can create tests, you can create lesson plans. We get so many queries regarding so many things. There is unlimited resources available to you. Just in a few seconds, all this can be generated. And I'm going to show how to make best use of chat GPT in the coming years or in coming months. Whenever you think that you want more resources, I think this is one of the best tools that has come into the uh, forum, open forum, free of cost at the moment in India and across the world. And it is imperative and it is ultimately going to get better and better and better. And so it's better that we know the nitty gritties of what chat GPT is and what are the multifaceted usage of this uh, artificial intelligence chatbot. So basically, it's a chatbot developed by OpenAI and it was launched in November 2022. That means it's hardly a few months, but it has taken the world by storm. Everybody is talking about it. If you look at newspapers or magazines or any other social media, everybody is talking about it. And it's high time that we introduce this in our syllabus in the way we teach. So how can teachers, so since uh, most of the people who are listening here are students and teachers, how can we use this chat GPT for our benefit? First of all, a lot of additional resources. In textbooks, there are limited resources. We have to buy textbooks. We have to uh, refer to so many books. When we do a Google search, we get so many uh, you know, information which may be uh, difficult to filter. So here what is happening is that we are getting so much of information which is concise and a summary of what we want. So we can get more and more and more and more information. There's no limit to it. I'll just demonstrate how we can do that. Innovative lesson plans. So many times uh, teachers have messaged me how to make a lesson plan on this, how this topic or that topic or this class with chat GPT in a click of a button in a few seconds, you get a lesson plan with proper timings, how to introduce, what are the materials required, etc. All this I'll be demonstrating shortly. You can make assignments and see assignments and test papers take a lot of our time. You can make assignments and tests practically in a few seconds. You just have to tell them what type of questions you want, long answer, MCQ, how many questions on which topic, and you can keep giving them tests. And it's good for the students because they can generate these tests themselves and try to answer the questions. And at the end, there is also a marking scheme and it's uh, very, very useful for the teacher as well as the student. The student can get so much information that they want, so many questions, so many assignments. So it is actually very good for self-study and it is also a very good resource uh, that can be used in our daily teaching in our classrooms. Right. So how to use this basically for innovation? Uh, we are doing a certain uh, style of teaching is there where we are doing it for a number of years and it's time to change that because chat GPT is becoming uh, a tool or an assistant for us where we can present innovative ideas. The same topic can be uh, presented in a different idea. There can be a lot of creativity. The NEP is talking about creativity, about innovation, all these ideas can be generated. So, you know, so uh, you don't have to rack your brains and thinking what has to be done, what works. They will give you a lot of ideas. Of course, we can use our brains to find out what works for you in your situation because 
the machine is going to give you a lot of options which may or may not work in your situation so what what is important is that we are getting these ideas so how to go about this those who are new to it i'm just going to demonstrate how it has to be done right so the first thing that has to be done is basically you have to open chat gpt so for that what i'm going to do is that i'm going to demonstrate right from the beginning how to do that so you have a gmail account so you can just type in chat gpt and what's going to happen is that you are going to get a link which says open ai chat gpt so right so you can just write down here chat gpt google search that and <clears throat> you will find this icon here this is open ai ai stands for artificial intelligence open ai introducing chat gpt this is going to come the first one you're just going to click on that and it's going to open this page introducing chat gpt now once you get into this page we're going to scroll down and you're going to click on try chat gpt right if you want to read about that you can do that otherwise you can start right away and you just click on try this now, the first time you are doing this, the, you have to link it to your Gmail account and your mobile number. Since I already have an account, I have signed in, but you may have to sign up. If you're not having an account, you may have to sign up, right? So <clears throat> this page comes and here there is a prompt and in this box, you can ask any question. So I'm going to just demonstrate what is the immense possibilities that exist uh, uh, and what uh, educators can actually do with this chat GPT. Okay, the first one, I'm going to take a sample of different classes and probably different subjects. So let me start with the first question, make an assignment. So we want to make an assignment, let's say for class five students, make an assignment for, you have to specify the class for class five or class six, whichever you want, class five students on what do you want on direct and indirect speech. I want to create this and uh, once you have make an assignment for class five students on direct and indirect speech, specify the class, specify the topic and here just click here and within a few seconds, you are going to get this assignment with instructions. Okay, so you are going to have this assignment ready and how many seconds did it say hardly three to four seconds and these are some of the examples that they have given. Rewrite and direct speed, rewrite and indirect speed. They have given an example there. And okay, <laughs> and they've also given an instruction there, submit to your teacher for review and so on. So what we can do is that we can ask for more questions. Can you give me more questions on this? Then it is going to give us more. So I'm just giving you examples. As I said, there are infinite possibilities. This is one example where I, uh, where a primary teacher can uh, <clears throat> use this and generate assignments for themselves. Let's go to the lesson plans, which is a major botheration for many. So I'm going to create a lesson plan. Uh, let's ask ChatGPT, make a lesson plan uh, for class nine. Okay, last time I took English, so I'm taking maths now. Make a lesson for class nine. I'm going to specify a topic, let's say linear equations linear equations so how to introduce linear equations how to teach that i'm going to i want a lesson plan on this i could have given any topic any class so here i'm getting the objective that is to understand the concept of linear equations what are the materials required there is a warm-up activity that is given there there is an introduction and very beautifully the time is also given there introduction then the main activity for 30 minutes and you are having all these instructions you will get a lot of ideas on this. There is a warm-up activity. There is a wrap-up activity. There is a conclusion with timings. So this is how we can create a lesson plan for all topics, all classes, right? So <clears throat> let me uh, go further and ask some more questions. Let's say I want some ideas uh, for a science project. Some ideas for a science project. You want to have, You are having an exhibition or you want to give some homework science project for let's say class eight students now, for class eight students. So I want some ideas for science project for class eight students. So it's going to give me 
a lot of options there. I can go through this. I can select what is relevant for me. It is giving me a solar oven. It's giving me a water filtration, electric circuit, plant growth, balloon rocket, all from physics, chemistry, bio. So you find that everything is at the tip of your fingertips. Everything is so easily accessible now. You are getting so much information. And I think as educators, we need to use this power of this AI, right? And <clears throat> this is, uh, they're giving about 10 now. And uh, also they're giving some guidelines that safety should be maintained during experiments. I can, uh, if I want, I can say, I want more ideas. Okay, I'll just show you. If you're not satisfied with this, I want more ideas. And you can keep on doing this infinitely. Okay, I want more ideas. So it's going to connect to your previous question. It's not that I want more ideas. Now you don't have to specify that it is science project because your question is related now. I want more ideas. So here, now what is happening? They are giving more ideas. Germination, crystal going, bridge building, egg drop, solar system model. You see the ideas are unlimited. And this plethora of information can be used to our advantage in uh, bringing out creativity and innovation for our teaching. So see photosynthesis, wind turbine, density tower, magnetic levitation, microorganism or observation. I can keep on doing this. Give me more ideas. Give me more ideas. It will never stop. Okay. This is an AI generated chatbot. It will never stop. It will keep on giving me ideas. Okay. So uh, uh, many of you ask about uh, art integration projects and we want to know more about some state and you, you know that under the egg, Bharat, Shresh, Bharat, you are paired under a state and we want information about that. You could get information about uh, any state, any place in geography, in history, about any event that has taken place. I'll just give you an example. Give me information on Sikkim, for example. Okay. So this is a place. You would have done this on any place, any person. So give me information on Sikkim. So I'm going to get information about this place. And what is happening is that I don't have to collect a lot of information from n number of places. I'm going to get this information uh, in a concise and summarized form through chat GPT here, right? So it's a small state in Northeastern India bordered by Bhutan to the east, Nepal to the west, Tibet to the north, and the Indian state of West Bengal to the south. So what's happening is that it keeps on generating this information. It's the least popular state. It's the second smallest state. You are getting so much information. Again, as I said, this is all happening in a few seconds. We don't have to read books from the library or collect information from various sources. So you are getting all this information through chat GPT. And that is why it's such a powerful tool. And that is why people across the world are excited to use this tool. And uh, I'm sure that in the coming days, in the coming months, it's going to revolutionize the uh, scope of education. Learning and teaching methodology is going to change dramatically. This is just the beginning because Microsoft is developing their version. This is, being the, this is the first uh, chatbot in this form to be launched. Now, there will be many other players who is going to come in this. And we are getting information meanwhile, right? And as I'm talking, you see the screen, it's giving me information. And all this information I can copy and paste into a Word document. It's not that it is there and uh, it's gone, right? Whatever information they are giving, I can take the screenshot of this. I can copy paste this and I can use it uh, for uh, further documents or to teach students or to present this document through a PPT. I can do all that, right? So this is the power of this. So you see so much of information is coming about Sikkim. Official languages are given there. Sikkim was a kingdom until it merged with India in 1977 uh, 75 and became the 22nd state of the Indian uh, Union. So there is so much of information, the festivals that are there. We can use all this information when we are doing the art integration work. If you want the patterns that are there, the dances, what are the... Uh, the flora and fauna there, what kind of handicrafts they make, uh, what is the food that they eat, all information we can get. So, as I said, we can get, if this stops and I say I want more information on Sikkim, it's going to continue and give me more and more information. So, uh, I have told you the use to make assignments, to make lesson plans, to get ideas for projects, uh, to get information on places and people. And is now let me create an MCQ test or a, any test, suppose I want to create. You want to create a test for tomorrow. You don't have much time, but I want to give a test. So make 
an MCQ, okay, I want an MCQ uh, test, okay, for, let's say, class 10 students in maths. I want to create an MCQ, okay? So normally when we create MCQ, we have to find the question, we have to find four options and etc. Now you find that it's going to generate me an MCQ, okay? So here you are having a question and you are having the options, okay? So what is going to happen is that all this can be done very easily for multiple subjects. You can specify the topic. You can specify the topic in which you want. Suppose I have said maths, which is very general. I could have specified, I want an assignment on polynomials. I want an assignment on circles. I want an assignment on uh, triangles. So it can be very specific. So here I have generated MCQ. I can also say, give me long answer type of questions from this chapter. So this is what we can do. I can generate more and more and more and more questions. Now this can be used by students as well, because if suppose they want to take a self-test, on any topic, they can generate this and see here the beauty of this. The answers are also there. So the questions are being attempted and then they have given the correct option and it's going to, uh, you can verify this with the answers that are given there. So you see there are infinite possibilities and I want to wish all the educators here uh, all the very best for the coming academic year. And I'm sure that you're going to use chat GPT in your classes and make your classes innovative and creative. Thank you so much and have a wonderful year ahead. Thank you.